Chitter Diaries. So I'm doing a, a bit of a weekend vlog today. It's been a while since I vlogged and I plan on doing a photo shoot this morning. Yes, I am doing a Grace Jones inspired photo shoot today. If you don't know who Grace Jones is, she is really cheap. Sorry, she's, <laughs> she's iconic. She's basically really, really iconic. Not even basically, she is iconic. Just Google Grace Jones and you know her. I, I think she was in her prime, like 70s and 80s. And she just, you know, came up with these very, very signature looks and pioneered certain styles that you know we didn't even realize today you know came from her she, she, she may not have been the first i have no idea but she definitely made it a thing like she made it you know trendy and that was you know like the blazer with like no shirt inside like like, like with, with, with no sh shirt or blouse on the inside and just that sharp collar and sorry the sharp shoulders and even just her makeup it was very angular like it was just you know deep contours and that <laughs> that haircut that short haircut that men actually jumped on board <laughs> of like like like, like they actually jumped on board with that haircut but i think i first saw it with grace jones and yeah she's just really really iconic and as a kid weirdly like i was born in the 90s but i would look back at those images or i would see those images as a little girl and she just looked like a very powerful very confident and very self-assured woman like like i absorbed that like no one had no one had to tell me anything but just by looking at those old grace jones images i don't know it was just very iconic and i always dreamed <laughs> like i'm being like I'm, I'm being so serious like i always dreamed of one day just pulling off that look and now i can <laughs> in the age of instagram where you can just do whatever you want and direct your own photo shoot but yes that is what i'm doing today so the makeup artist is called tio i met tio last year at a friend's wedding i was a bridesmaid and she turned me into a catfish like it was <laughs> like, yeah like it was a lot but it but i looked nice but just very very different so i did ask tio to come and help me out on this photo shoot i'm, I'm waiting for her right now <laughs> and then the photographer is ns so ns photography and i've been i met ns through my sister because my sister and her are, i guess twitter homies or whatnot or maybe even real homies now and she came and did a Christmas photo shoot for my family back in 2017 for Christmas. I did vlog that. I'll leave a link. <laughs> if you have 30 minutes on you, you know, feel free to watch it. But at the very end, I did show some pictures of how the photo shoot came out. But she's really, really good. And then in February of 2018, so I have two friends. Two friends, two of, you know, my, my several best friends <laughs> were like this trio from college or whatnot. And every year we celebrate Valentine's Day as singles. It was, it was just like this, it's been a tradition of ours. And last year, for some reason, we're like, let's do a professional photo shoot. And Ennis came through and she did a really, really good job. That I didn't vlog, but I would just leave some pictures of what it looked like. I think I shared them on Twitter like last year when we took them. And they were just really, really, really nice. So Ennis is the one who do the photography. And yeah, that's all. I'm just waiting for Tio to show up. And then my day shall begin. So I'll see you in the next one. Sorry, one more thing. My eyebrows. Like, if I'm looking into this channel, I know, I know. I went to a new person. I don't know why we never learn. I don't know why we cheat on our <laughs> good eyebrow people. But I was in a fix and I happened to be near a location. And I didn't want to go all the way to the person who does my eyebrows. So I was like, okay, fine. Let me just take a chance. And I ideally for most of the time have thick eyebrows like i love the thick eyebrows look and this lady chopped off half of my eyebrow she's very apologetic but i was just really really okay i wasn't even really upset i was just in denial and even up to now i think i'm still because this happened yesterday like this one is the one she did first and you can tell like it's way up there compared to this one so she kind of had to make this one match compared to this but, but because you know <laughs> i was so upset with this one you can tell that she was she was a bit scared when doing this one and but you can definitely see that this one is really, really bad. But yeah, it's sad when people butcher your eyebrows. Like, if you're female or even male, and you get your eyebrows done, and you have them looking a certain way, and they get butchered like this, eyebrows are special. Like, it takes months for this ish to grow back. So, yeah. That's me. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you in the next clip.
shoot omg like <laughs> i think i actually look like she, okay Tio did an amazing job like i sent her pictures of grace jones even just the lip i'll try and insert some pictures of inspiration but she contoured the heck out of my face and she got it right like fam fam i'm just like Tio did an amazing job an amazing job i i, I will leave links to her to her instagram yes and, and then I, I will ask her if, if she wants like her whatsapp number out there and then ennis as well ennis did a really 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 good job oh my goodness like we we went around first it was like my, my parents yeah trust me like our backyard is you know it's very basic but i saw some of the samples they're really really nice and then we just walked down like the street and took like you know some pictures with you know whatever we could find but it was really really nice i'm, I'm, I'm so glad i'm so glad i i feel <laughs> like you know we they executed the vision but anyways let me relax let me relax so i'm about to wash all of this off can you imagine i'm washing this off right now and then yeah i need to go and buy wigs and then i'm going to braid my hair and i will see you and then i will see you around but if you want to see the photos i will try and like i will post the photos the same time that i upload this video on my instagram and then at the end of this video so if you stay tuned to the end i will leave like a whole montage of some of the shots that we took but yes thanks and i'll see you in the next one hello so i just got back from kamala guys okay i'm actually at apology now but i'm walking down to woodlands to get some food because i was early for my hair appointment and Dor like like lusaka has run out of dormy like yesterday i went to kawata like shout out to the oldies who remember that shop i went to in kawala in kawata last year they'd run out i went to chilenje i went to shops in chala like you like no one had dormy here even kamala actually like i used to drop by kamala and then i had to call anderson from of apology and tell him that no one had dormy here and then he directed me to a place called cinderella there's like a big wig shop called cinderella and that's where <laughs> i found everything so it's, it's, it's at that t t junction in kamala where all the buses are going to town and whatnot there's a huge shop called cinderella with like a whole bunch of wigs so yeah that's where i eventually found it found my wigs and yeah i'm doing twists today and shout out to my sister she's making these t-shirts they say thou shalt not touch a woman without her consent and then there's like a running gag there which is supposed to be like a bible verse and they're a serious hit like i got one for myself i will leave it like i'll probably put up like her twitter handle and you can dm her or find out if you, if you want one for yourself in osaka the 120 kwacha currently currently let me think currently currently <laughs> yeah and it's funny like, like everywhere i'm going people are reading it and they're like oh that's nice like get me one so yeah it's important to, to just give some awareness out there and issue a reminder to the ridiculous people but yeah people are looking at me funny <laughs> let me stop vlogging and i will see you soon I'm at my friend Lusungu's house. Some of you may know Lusungu. Where's the light? I don't know. It's there. Okay, there we go. Yes. So I'm here for a sleepover. Yes. We're not sleeping actually. So not nice. Yes. We are very all night. We just had a very intense card game. Like I haven't played card games in years. And it was intense. Like it was intense. We don't play around. It was so much fun. This one you bought last year? Last year? Yeah. Hi. Christina here, she's having our dinner, yeah, prepared by me, yes, no, most of it, the nicer yeah. food, <laughs> it looks really nice, <laughs> and the single over there, <laughs> and sup, <Sorry. laughs> okay, so it's close to 1 a.m. in the morning, 12 26, how many, how many card games have we played? Uh, I think they're like entry level though. We've only done like three. Yes. Yeah, and they're still going. I mean, like, this, this is hardcore board games. This is nothing. This is nothing. <laughs> We're on number, yeah. number six now. <laughs> like, <laughs> We're still going. Let's We're go. still going. We're still going. This Five is hardcore, minutes. you guys. This is hardcore. We're getting really active. Pictionary. <laughs> <laughs>
have to go roll it so have to go start acting okay good morning <laughs> there's lusungu hey we're making it to church after sleeping at three what time imagine do you sleep? i am so okay we're actually very proud of ourselves <laughs> Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm Catholic, but I've been invited to Miracle Life. No, it's, it's a very Miracle Life girl. It was what? what's it Global Heart. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's no, my brother goes to Miracle Life, so it's cool. We we'll just uh, pretend. You're, you're like, okay, as in, it's fine. Okay, because Miracle Life has this like um like reputation. <laughs> girl, are you throwing <laughs> shade on the no, ground? I'm not oh. throwing shade. Like, it's a really really nice church. It's like it's like very boutique. <laughs> And people go there to find husbands or wives and jobs. But it's a very nice church. But Global Heart is nice as well. Like I hear it's lit. So my Catholic self is like, okay. Let's go. Yeah, see. let's go. Let's, let's go and turn up. Oh wow. I, I, I haven't even tied my hair up because I want to like you know just like, like I want to be upstanding, dancing and swinging my hair in church. But yeah, wow, that's where we're headed. Sure. <laughs> but we're late though. Yeah. Unfortunately. But anyway. Yeah. No, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Church was not so fun. Yes, it was. She was sitting in front. She barely slept. But I didn't see her. It was short and sweet. It was like two hours long. So we'll definitely come from here. We're at Mandalu, by the way. So we have church at 8.30 and 10. so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye y'all. <laughs>